the Rolls-Royce Ghost Black Batch. A car that's made for rebellious women and men who built their success by breaking rules, taking risks, and challenging conventions. In the 2020s, these women and men engage with luxury products on their own terms. That's not what I'm saying, that's what Rolls-Royce says. In fact, they also say that people that buy this car reject suits for streetwear. So I figured it's totally okay that I wear a hoodie while reviewing a Rolls-Royce. Don't worry, it's black and it's a little expensive. But yeah, Rolls-Royce says that people that buy this car use blockchains, not banks. Well, they better have made a lot of money off of crypto because this cost over $519,000. My name is Omar and this is the Rolls-Royce Ghost Black Badge. So yeah, this is pretty expensive. The black badge that I'm driving here actually cost more than a regular ghost. So that clearly means that people that have made a lot of money in their lifetime and are now retired are the only ones that are buying this, right? Well, not exactly. Apparently people my age are buying a black badge, which only leads me to think that I'm doing something very wrong with my life. Yeah, reviewing cars isn't all that glamorous, even though you get to drive glamorous cars. Now, unlike the Phantom in which you're meant to be driven, the Ghost is more of a driver's car. And to help with that, the Black Badge gets more power. The 6.75 liter twin turbo V12 in here makes 591 horsepower and 644 pound-feet of torque. That's an extra 28 horses and an extra 37 pound-feet of torque. Now, while that engine is sourced from BMW, the rest is not. Unlike the outgoing Ghost, which was based on the 7 Series, the new Ghost uses the same platform as the Phantom and the Cullinan, which means this is insanely comfortable. Now, I haven't personally driven the Phantom or the Cullinan, but this is by far the smoothest and the most comfortable car that I've ever driven. It's almost like you're gliding or flying down the road, not to mention it is super, super quiet in here. You're practically secluded from that noisy world outside. And the reason it's so quiet is because Rolls-Royce used over 200 pounds of sound deadening material in here to make that happen. In fact, they originally made it so quiet that people got a little uncomfortable, so they went in and made it less quiet. When was the last time that you were in a car where you heard the automaker had to make it less quiet? Either way, let's not get ahead of ourselves because there is a lot more about the black badge that you need to learn. That said, let me give you a tour of this vehicle that everyone aspires to own. We'll take a look at the inside and all the intricate details. We'll take a look at the gorgeous exterior design. And then I'll give you my opinion on how this drives and whether or not if the Rolls-Royce Ghost Black Badge is the luxury sedan that you've been dreaming of. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe. All right, let's do this. All right, so before we get into everything, we should definitely talk about the price because come on, this is a Rolls-Royce. So this specific Rolls-Royce Ghost here starts at $393,500 and the black badge package adds on an extra $43,850 to that price. Of course, since this is a Rolls-Royce, there are a lot of unique elements and customizations that you can make. That said, my test model here carries a final price tag of $519,175. How? Well, as always, I'll point out what adds on to the bottom price as we go along on this tour. And let's kick off this tour with the interior because it's a work of art. Everything in here is of the highest quality you can imagine. Rolls-Royce only uses bull hides on the inside of their cars because apparently cows have stretch marks and that's not good enough for a vehicle of this caliber. Now, even though the Ghost is more of a driver's Rolls-Royce, the rear seat luxury in here is still pretty impressive. So let's take a closer look. Once you climb in the back seat of the Ghost Black Badge, you're working with a massive 42.3 inches of legroom back here. I'm about six foot tall. That's my seating position, as you can see. I've got plenty of room. It is very spacious and very comfortable back here. Now, once you get in here and get situated to close the door, you just hold down this button labeled door and that's it. You don't have to exert any energy since you're living that high life of luxury. And then one of the first things that you'll notice is the signature Rolls-Royce shooting star headliner. And not many people know this, but you can actually customize the layout of the stars to be your favorite constellation or how the stars looked in a particular location on a specific night. You can make it your birthday or you can make it the day you got married if you're gifting a ghost black badge to your wife because, you know, you 
probably messed up really bad. All right, so here's where you'll start seeing that price tag climb. You have massaging rear seats as standard. You also have heated rear seats as standard as well. However, ventilated seats will cost you an extra $2,000. But the most expensive option on my test model here is the immersive seating package for $10,775. What that will give you is this giant center console that you can fold down from the middle seat. And if you're sitting behind the passenger seat, you can use your seat controls to move that front passenger seat completely out of the way so you can have more legroom. Then you can lean your seat back and kick back and relax in the spirit of ecstasy. But of course, there's more. You have two compartments here in the center console. One is just for storage and the other is actually a Spirit of Ecstasy controller. What does it do? Well, this controls a rear entertainment system, which by the way, is standard. You can screen mirror here from a compatible device. You can hook up your video game system from these HDMI ports, or you can pop in your favorite DVD. So far, pretty cool. My test model also has these picnic tables that will cost you an extra $5,575 and they're covered in what's called the Black Badge Technical Fiber Trim. So before you even climb out of this back seat, you're already looking at an extra $18,350 on my test model here. Now to get out of the second row, you just pull the door handle and the door pops open just a little bit. Then you just pull and hold and the motorized door will swing out until you let go. And if it's raining outside, once you get out, you obviously have the Rolls Royce umbrellas located right here in each of the rear doors. You just push the button and the umbrella pops out. The umbrellas here on my test model are colored to match the teal trim. So they will cost you an extra $1,675 or $837 each. That's right, for umbrellas. By the way, did you know that each hole for the umbrellas has special drainage points and warm air pumps to dry it out? That's pretty cool. And don't worry, once you're outside, you still don't have to use any energy to close the doors on the Ghost Black Batch. You just hold right down here for a second or two and the door will close all by itself. That's what the Rolls Royce life is all about. All right, let's hop in the front of the Ghost Black Batch. The first thing that you'll notice when you open the door is this ghost tread plate with an infinity symbol, which is the symbol for Black Batch. The second thing that you'll probably notice are these lamb wool floor mats, which you also have in the back. But the one on the driver's side also has leather padded pillows, so your heels can live in the lap of Rolls Royce luxury, just in case you're going for a long drive. All right, so the doors here are of course wrapped in beautiful soft leather, but I absolutely love the way they embossed the RR Batch into the actual leather. That's a nice little detail right there. Other things you may notice is some more of that black batch technical carbon trim and the teal or blue piping. And some of this piping is actually standard, but if you want extended piping to the color of your choice, that will be an extra $2,225. Oh, and down here you have this tiny toggle to adjust the side view mirrors and it's covered in polished stainless steel. In fact, a lot of the controls in my test model have polished stainless steel and that costs an extra $2,800. All right, so once you finally get in here and get situated in the front to close the front doors, you use these switches right here, just pull them and your doors will close automatically all by themselves. Now in the center console right here, you have your Spirit of Ecstasy controller for the infotainment system, the switches to close your doors, and to the left you have your parking sensor, air suspension, and camera button. Speaking of the infotainment, not much to talk about here, it's pretty straightforward and it's a reskinned version of BMW's iDrive system. You have wireless Apple CarPlay as standard, and of course, navigation is standard as well. Dig into the settings a little bit, and you'll see the Spirit of Ecstasy section where you can lower and raise Eleanor Velasco Thornton. That's right, she has a name. She's actually a British actress who modeled for the artist that created the Spirit of Ecstasy. And then you can go through and adjust your ambient lighting here. You only have two colors to pick from, or two themes, including cool and warm. And while we're here, let's talk about driver assist tech. Basically, everything is standard as it should be, including adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring, all the collision and pedestrian detection. And you obviously have a rear view camera, a 360 camera, along with a 3D surround view camera that will let you sit there and circle around your Rolls Royce Ghost black badge. Now, right below the infotainment screen, you have your volume controls that are wrapped in leather because, you know, you want to feel the luxury throughout your really expensive purchase. You also have your hazard light control and your central door locks right here. Underneath that, you have your one through eight shortcut buttons, just like on a BMW, and you can assign various infotainment settings right here. For example, all Rolls Royce models come with the number eight set as a setting to raise and lower the spirit of ecstasy hood ornament. And last but not least, below all that, you have your climate control area. The fan speed dial is wrapped in leather, just like the volume knob. And keep in mind, there is no digital temperature readout in a Rolls Royce. They keep it traditional with these temperature dials. The top half controls your upper vent area and the lower one is for your legs. 
Oh, and opening and closing the vents in a Rolls Royce just feels super luxurious. You just pull this toggle here to open the vents and push it to close it. It's really nice. That said, the Rolls Royce Ghost Black Badge comes standard with heated and ventilated front seats, as well as a heated steering wheel, and of course you also get massaging front seats as well. So what about some expensive features in the front? Well, you have the Rolls Royce analog clock here that costs an extra $4,500. And then you have what is called an illuminated fascia, which costs an extra $5,175. The reason it's expensive is because this isn't just a screen. This actually has a really thin piece of wood veneer that has 850 stars that light up at night to mimic the stars in the roof. That's amazing. And just to point out, this infinite symbol represents the black badge and the infinite ways you can modify this car. You can literally select between 44,000 colors or you can create one yourself and Rolls-Royce will paint it for you, which brings me to the outside. Now the Rolls-Royce Ghost itself is absolutely gorgeous. It has a very strong and prominent presence. Rolls-Royce has a way of keeping their design language modern yet still calling back to their heritage and that's not always easy. So what's unique about the black badge here? Well, first of all, it's black. Of course, like I said, you don't have to get it in black because you can literally get any color you want. But this diamond black color on my test model here is the darkest black Rolls-Royce has ever made. According to Rolls-Royce, they use about 100 pounds of black paint to make it this dark. Now, my test model, being as expensive as it is, has a contrast gunmetal color theme that costs an extra $12,525. And it gets even more expensive because this has a two-tone paint job with the upper half being gray for a total of $20,200. And do you see this long coach line here? Well, that costs an extra $1,925 and this is hand-painted by a man named Mark Court. And apparently he's been painting them on Rolls-Royce cars for the past 17 years and it's his only job. But yeah, since this is a black badge, there's no shiny chrome here. You have black chrome and a lot of black elements all over this thing. Even the Spirit of Ecstasy is covered in a dark chrome finish. The signature Pantheon grille is also dark, however, it does light up at nighttime. Now, you can go into the settings and turn that light off, but why would you do that? I would never turn that off, like, ever. Now, here's something interesting about the wheels. The barrels of these 22-inch wheels are made up of 22 layers of carbon fiber that are then folded back on themselves, so you have 44 layers of carbon fiber for a lot of strength. That's crazy. And you see these custom teal brake calipers? Yeah, well, they cost an extra $4,350. As for cargo capacity, you can pop open the trunk by using a button located right underneath the Rolls-Royce badge, and you have a total of 17 cubic feet, which is not bad. It's actually pretty deep and quite big. Sorry for the mess back here. All right, before I give you my opinion on how it is to drive the Ghost Black Badge, let me point out a few important daily ownership highlights that I'll have to show all of you. You've got four cup holders, two in the front right there, and then you have two in the back right there. Here are what the keys look like. The logo is your lock button, the triangle is your unlock button, and the square is your trunk release button. And on the back, the leather matches the color of the trim that you have on your Ghost Black Badge. Really nice set of keys. Door open and close sound from the outside. And from the inside, while using this button. Solid. Charging game wise, in the center armrest, you have two USB C ports and a wireless charger. Rear passengers have a USB C port each located in the door pocket. Very interesting placement. And of course, let's do an indicator and horn sound test. Indicator first. Nice. Now for the horn sound. Oh, yeah. That's solid. So I remember seeing a picture of Rolls Royce umbrellas, and behind that, there was a quote by Coco Chanel that read, luxury must be comfortable otherwise it's not luxury and that's the best way to describe a rolls royce and specifically the new ghost when the new ghost first came out rolls royce made a big deal about the new planar suspension system now the air suspension already does a great job of getting rid of low frequency bumps now to get rid of the high frequency bumps the planar suspension system adds a damper unit on top and the bottom of the suspension so it's kind of like a damper on a damper and a suspension on a suspension whatever it is it makes the Ghost one of the most insanely comfortable vehicles out there. Not only that, Rolls-Royce's flag bearer camera system is always scanning the road ahead and makes tweaks to the suspension and the gear that you're in to make your driving experience even smoother. It is creamy, creamy smooth in here. But according to Rolls-Royce, Black Badge is more about excitement than it is about comfort. So how does this behave if you drive it a little sporty? Well, you don't have an actual sport mode because you know this is a Rolls-Royce. 
what you do have is a low mode, which isn't for added traction or anything like that. This is essentially the sport mode where this becomes a little bit darker and a little bit more dramatic. The black badge here will do zero to 60 in just four and a half seconds. And with this, you also get a deeper exhaust note, which you can barely hear inside because it's so quiet in here. Let's see if I can hear something. Here a little bit, this thing takes off. Yeah, that twin turbo V12 is outstanding. The power delivery is so instant and so smooth. It feels great, but it's so comfortable and so quiet that you barely feel any theatrics at all. Now, when it comes to handling and braking, don't expect this to be anything like a Porsche. This is still a Rolls Royce, so comfort always comes first. Nonetheless, if you're rich enough to have this as your daily driver, all I can say is that you'll be just fine. I've been driving this around for the past four days and not a single day did I feel like I need to be driving fast. You're so wrapped in the cocoon of luxury and elegance in this thing that you don't feel the need to hit the gas and go crazy. Nonetheless, I will recommend being a little careful because since this is so freaking smooth, you will hit 80, 90 miles an hour without even realizing it. The steering feel is completely effortless, which is a bit surprising because you're turning or going around a bend in something that weighs over 5,600 pounds. And hey, don't worry, if you really made an insane amount of money trading crypto, you can also sit in the back and just relax. Not to mention, if you want your chauffeur to have all the skills they need to be driving your black badge, you can send them off to the Rolls Royce White Glove Chauffeur Training School. Yeah, there's an actual training program for that. But in all honesty, I'd rather be driving this. If I was young and rich and could afford a ghost black badge, I want to experience every single second of it. I want to live in the lap of luxury that I worked so hard to enjoy. I've driven a Bentley, I've driven a Maybach, but honestly, nothing is as smooth and as rewarding as a Rolls Royce. Either way, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. My handle is at Omar Drives. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace. The only thing that really annoyed me while driving this around for four days is the placement of the memory seats on the driver's side specifically. While you're driving this, your left knee can easily hit that button and you can adjust yourself. Maybe they teach you that in the driving school about where your knee should be so you don't constantly do that. Man, I can't wait to be Rolls Royce rich. It's gotta be such a great feeling.